What we have here, gang, is the Joy Chitwood Cannon Jump Set. It's not complete, but I couldn't pass it up. I obtained this from the same guy that I obtained the uh, Buddy L Coca-Cola set. So, what it came with is everything you see here, and it also had a launch ramp that attached to the back of the Mr. Pip Cannon, which is missing, and it had a cardboard ring of fire that would attach to the front of the cannon. I don't know how it attached, I'm not making that assumption, but it makes sense that if it's a ring of fire, it would be on the front. So uh, that, that will probably be something I'll never find. I couldn't pass this up, because I remember seeing Joy Chitwood on TV uh, sports, cha uh, sports channels, sports shows back in the 70s. And uh, basically what they did, they went around to like sporting events and uh, tracks and racetracks and all that, and they did a stunt show where they jumped cars, they rode them, r drove the cars on two wheels, and uh, just did all kind of stuff like that. And I even think he even, if I recall right, he jumped the car into a stack of cars or into another car and uh, just, you know, just making fan, making the fans happy, seeing destruction. Now, the two cars, I've seen them around here and there at trade shops, but they was always in horrible condition. These are in pretty good shape. Uh, I, I also have uh, this version. Is, I'll, I'll explain why I said this version in a little bit. I also have that new on the original card when it was sold. I may do a video on that one later. Who knows? But, uh, but like I said, I, I would see the cars. I didn't even saw the trailer, but uh, never, the, never this set together. And, I, and again, it's not complete. So I couldn't turn it down because, you know, when it comes to my favorite Cokes, I've mentioned in videos past, I'm a root beer freak. Uh, I'm also a Mr. Pip freak and an RC Cola freak. Those are my three drinks of choice when it comes to Coca Cola. Well, I say Coca Cola, it's a southern thing. Everything in the south is a Coke. And then you, you get asked, do you want a Coke? And you say yes. You say, what kind? Uh, so we, uh, but anyway. <laughs> This set is really cool. I had to clean it up. It was super dusty, and uh, but it displays well. It's in awesome shape. The the decals are good on all of them. But uh, we'll just take a look at it real quick, and I'll show you the ramps. This is this is the ramp that, uh, and I'm not going to disassemble it. It's uh, it's been together for so long, and you see it's warped. Um, I, might do the hot water trick and see if I can squeeze it back in uh, to make it straight again but this is the ramp that they would use in the stunt show to drive the cars up and then ride on two wheels so that's that ramp now these cars are gyro cars and this one is got an issue sometimes it'll lock and uh, gear up so it could run forward but like now it's not doing it at all but these are chevettes chevy chevettes you know for the most part i guess they were pretty decent cars um but you know i think they're just made and they were just disposable cars after they served their purpose they were no good anymore i had a family member up north that had a four-door red one drove it forever it rusted out bef before it died Great, uh, great undercarriage. You, you see the floor pans, uh, transmission, drive shaft. It looks like a cat. And then it's got uh, the pipes coming out on the side. And that's the road side. And if you notice, it's got Ertl on the front tires. But on the back tires, it doesn't. But they do have the same hubcaps. There's the back. And here's the curb side. There's a Joy Chetwood's Thrill Show, the greatest show on earth. Now, there's a difference between the two cars. Like I said, this one just has the pipes coming off to the side. This one's got them coming up over the side. And undercarriage is the same. And this one, oops, went backwards on it. 
<laughs> at least it's mine. But that's uh, that's the Chevette that works. Now the long the landing ramp w would attach to the front of the trailer, and I've got these tie wrapped together because there's two ramps, and when I got them, they were actually connected. But as being so old, I just disconnected them because I don't want anybody to break the locking tab. So I, d I just disconnected them and tie wrapped them because they sit right here on the trailer. And I'll, I'm will i going to tie wrap this back down to the trailer with this ramp up under it. And also, let's look at the tractor. It's got the Chevy badge on it. Got a lot of interior detail. The roof rack with the horns and lights are, there, uh, are still intact, but they're just losing the chrome, which is kind of like common for a lot of these older uh, Ertles and eye lengths. Decals on the side, really good shape. Stack is still on it. I don't know, I just do it like this. And that's pretty much it, it's got dual tanks. And in the trailer, the cannon, if you see here, you have different levels. You know, there's your transport, one height level, two height levels, and three height levels. It's got, it still has its mud flaps, you know, and it says Ertl on the mud flaps. Well, that one's kind of broke. This is where the launching ramp would have attached to it. It just clip in. And like I said, it's missing, so I'll have to find one of those. And which is going to be pretty much impossible. So, but this, this set is a pretty cool set. I hope to complete it. I really do. Um, but like I said, uh, it's going to be pretty hard to find the original cardboard ring. You know, I may have to see so I can find somebody who can make one. You know, uh, but yeah, if you if you are interested in stunt shows and all that, there's a lot of information about Joey Chitwood. I think he was his father or grandfather started the show because they got there's photos online with cars from the 50s when doing, doing jumps and all kind of stuff but you can find videos of Joey Chitwood stuff online as well uh, I, like I said I remember seeing him on TV but I never saw him in person but the, but it was a, it was a cool memory to have and like when I ran across his eye and it was for sale I just grabbed it like I said I bought a couple more things from the same group of people that was selling all the stuff off at reasonable prices. You know, because when I got home and I uh, started looking online, there was one like this, but I can't remember. I think it was missing. It was missing. It had the launch ramp, but it was missing the landing ramp and the uh, ramp, the the single ramp. I don't know what you call it, but it would uh. It, I think it sold for sixty dollars, and it had extra car. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. The the landing ramp would click here, and this piece would click here and come on out. You know, I haven't tried to uh, launch the car. I treat it like the Evil Knievel stuff. It's just so old, and you saw this one is kind of well. <laughs> that thing's aggravating. It should be four pintos uh, but that's a that's a pretty cool set and i'm glad to have it and i will hang on to it for a while because like i said i do love mr pip and it's just a great addition to my collection now there's uh, ironically when i was looking into this i bought the uh joy chitwood thrill show off of ebay and once I get it in, I'll I'll do a video of it. It's in the box, and it comes with a Chevy pickup, a trailer, one uh, Chevette, and that ramp. I was kind of hoping it'd be here today because I was going I've been waiting to do this video so I could do them back to back. Um, but that's uh that's it for this one, gang. I hope it was a good video because I don't feel like it is. Y'all have a great day.